Hey, good morning and welcome back. And in case you haven't heard, my friend, a giant talent, Mike Pintech, has passed away. Mike has been suffering from pancreatic cancer since 2017. You know, it's amazing the love, the outpouring of respect that has been underway for months now since Mike left the airwaves for the last time. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, someone always says to me, hey, Mike Pintech, how's he doing? What's the latest? You know, I've listened to him for years. You know, I've listened to him for years too, but I had a front row seat to actually watch him in action. Mike Pintech was so passionate about what he did. You know, a lot of people have something else. You know, they play golf, they garden, they just enjoy something other than what they do, or more than just that signature thing. Mike Pintech was a talk show host. That's what he did. He did talk radio. Whatever was happening in the world or locally, Mike Pintech got on the air every day, walked into the studio with a pal of notes, his KDKA radio mug in his hand full of hot coffee, and he would talk hot topics. He was incredible. He was truly like watching a great athlete at work. You know, Mike would always do his contributions to sports whenever we did our show together, whenever we spent time together, and it was a lot over the last 30 plus years at KDK Radio. And Mike always joked that he didn't know much about sports because he really didn't, well, it wasn't his thing, folks. But let me just say this. Mike Pintech was the Babe Ruth of talk show hosts. No one could take a bigger swing at the plate and more times than not hit it out of the park. He would say to me, because he was his worst critic, what do you think? How was that? And I'd always say, Mike, it was really good. And he'd say to me, ah, oh, you're just saying that. No, Mike, I'm not the only one. Everybody was saying over the recent months. Man, he is just great because he was. But aside the KDKA radio time that we spent together, Mike and I had a lot of time to talk through the years. And yes, we both had our moments in this thing called life where we needed a friend to lean on. And I being a, well, very emotional person, if you will, would always be the one to give him a hug or to simply say, I love you. One of the last times I saw Mike Pintech, he peeked his head over the cubicle to where I was. And he simply said, hey, how are you? I said, I'm good. He said, have a good weekend. And I said, I will. And as he was walking down the hall, I said, hey, Mike, I love you. And for those who know Mike Pintech, always stellar, posture upright, and for the most part, pretty serious, he walked all the way back and looked at me with those blue eyes, piercing blue eyes, and he went, I love you too. Well, Mike, a lot of people love you because you came into their home every day. And whether they were enjoying lunch or in their vehicle going somewhere or maybe at work, that voice, that familiar voice, was a part of their family. So today, we feel as though we've lost a family member. I know I sure have. Thank you for being a friend, a mentor, a brother. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for showing your respect to Mike Pintech. I know he would want me to say, I love you all. Have a great day from your Pratt Pack. Good morning.